Well, if you're looking to update your Zippo lighter to the newer butane inserts that we have from Thunderbird, here's a quick lesson on how to do that. Take your existing Zippo lighter and remove the insert from the case. And then remove your new Thunderbird butane lighter insert from its case. And you might want to, sorry about that, you might want to top it off with fuel before you put it in. You always want to make sure when you're putting this into the system that the fuel flow lever arm, which is shown right here, uh, is in the up position. So then to put it into the case, you'll just go ahead and slide that in. Make sure it's straight when you do it. Push it all the way down. And then the key thing is to flip the lever arm down before you try and close the lid. To do so otherwise will end up damaging the case and uh, you'll need to bend the little tab inside the case back out again in order to make it work. The way these butane lighters work is this arm here controls the flow of fuel in and out of the, the nozzle at the top of the lighter. So you only want to have this open when you're ready to use it and when you're done using it make sure you close it so you're not venting your fuel out to the atmosphere.